how to create social media content calendar in ClickUp 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about social media content calendars and how you're gonna create one of them in ClickUp in the easiest ways possible, okay? Now ClickUp, as we all know, is one of the greatest content management systems out there. Okay, it's a project management system, content management system. And uh, it's pretty incredible, okay? The integrations it gives you, the views of the boards that it gives you. You have docs, time tracking, chat, whiteboards, dashboards, AI, and a whole lot more. And you can actually collaborate with other users. It has great plans to get you started on with. And it's pretty incredible. So I'm gonna sign up with this, show you how the sign-up process works, and get started with it to show you how you can create a social media content calendar. Now to start things off, you're gonna to come to clickup.com. You can obviously download their very own app, okay? It's a desktop app, but I'm gonna simply go and sign up. So here it says sign up for free and start using ClickUp in seconds. So first of all, what you're gonna do is you're gonna enter your work email. So I'm gonna paste it right here and I'm gonna click on next. Now once you enter your work email, it's gonna bring you to the actual onboarding process where it's gonna ask you your uh, password. Now over here, what you're going to do is you're going to add all the necessary things regarding your account. So, you know, you have your password, you have your name, and then you have your email. Okay, so just add the necessary things that you want to. Make sure to keep a password that you will remember. And once you do that, you're going to click on play with ClickUp and it brings you here. Now it says we sent you a verification code, which I just got. It's called, uh, it's going to be 3011. There we go. So once you've entered this code from here, it says, what would you like to use ClickUp for? Now there's work, personal, and school. Now, obviously, when it comes to social media content calendar, I'd say you could consider it in work. It could be personal as well, but uh, I would recommend putting it in work. How large is your company? Now that depends as well. I'm going to go with one to 10 people for now. How many people will you be working with? I'm going to go with two to 10. What solution would you like to start with? You know, there's sales and CRM, which is obviously your customer relationship management and sales. Then there's marketing. There's different professional services, creative design. Uh, there's engineering, products, operations, you know, all these basic things. So you could go ahead and start with any of these. Now, when it comes to creating social media content uh, calendar, what we're i guess that is more on the marketing side so i'm going to keep it here how did you hear about us so just putting anything random let's say youtube then it says invite people to your workspace if you don't want to just click on next now it says do you use any of these tools so you know there's trello Rike, asana jira todoist basecamp monday excel and csv if you use any of these let them know and they will obviously import any information that you want to import from these softwares then lastly, what would you like to name your workspace? So I'm going to go with that. That's a decent name. So I'm going to click on finish. And now it's going to load my whole workspace up. And we're going to get into the actual technical bits. Now over here, what's going to happen is it's going to say, welcome to ClickUp. You can actually watch the video to learn how the actual ClickUp interface works, how the actual workspace of ClickUp works. But I'm going to go ahead and simply skip it. And I'm going to get into the basic working of the page okay so here it brings me to the actual workspace where it's just, just called space okay now over here on the left hand side first of all you have your home dashboard okay so this is your home dashboard where you can see your recent tasks that you just did okay and then you have agendas you know whatever agenda you want to add then you have lineups which is the, your task lineup you have personal lists which is going to be some personal tasks and then you're going to have your actual work which are you know recurring tasks and different reminders for the tasks that you're going to add in so pretty uh, basic things that you're going to need to get an idea of then moving on you have things like inbox docs dashboard and a whole lot more so you can go ahead and work with those you have team space projects project two project one project notes view all spaces create space and a whole lot more so what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to come to dashboards and we're going to see the actual dashboards that are available and present in our CMS. Now, once we get an idea of these, you know, you have this dashboard, this dashboard, you have the main ClickUp dashboard, which you can create to give yourself some nice analytics. But I'm simply going to remain in this section here. You can go to team space. Okay. 
and once you come to team space here you have overview board list calendar gantt chart table chart and then you can actually go into more views where you can get timeline team table mind map workload activity map and a whole lot more so these kinds of things give you a really good general idea of the workload and the actual work purpose of these things so to start things off i'm going to come over to projects okay and in projects you can see you have a list of all the things you want to work with so if you want to create a social media thing let's say i'm going to go into project two and project two i'm going to call this instagram okay this is my instagram management so i'm going to call this instagram and now i'm going to start adding tasks so obviously it's added one task for me but i'm going to go ahead and edit it so i'm going to add let's say um post creation now once we add post creation what we're going to do is we're going to add in its description so let's uh, write something like um add in data for the collage of the uh, let's say hiking trip you know you're gonna add that and that creates a task basically that's about it and you can actually add different custom fields in it you can add in subtasks if you want to even upload attachments to let people know if you want it to be created in some type of style if you want it to be created in some type of reference you can add in attachments to give people a general idea of how they're going to work with this okay so just to add in the necessary things and there you go there's your first task called post creation then you can add even more tasks so let's say i'm going to call this task upload image okay i'm going to call it that obviously you can give this task more details as well put in more attachments and a whole lot more now obviously after that over here you have assignee which is where you're going to assign some person the task so let's say i have assigned myself over here then you have due date you can actually give a person a due date because obviously if it's a content calendar it can be a calendar without a date so let's say i'm going to give them the due date of 27th of december okay priority is something you can keep as well so let's say if you want to say it's urgent priority you're going to keep it at that and this is the worker's job so if they're doing it they're going to call it to do and it's going to be shifted to the to-do list okay then if they have completed it they're going to click on complete and it's going to create a new list and shift it to the completed list okay so that is how this is going to work and you can actually switch to the calendar view so the deadline i kept was december 27th right so you're going to come to the 27th of december okay and you're actually going to see different views and you can add it through the actual uh, timelines like this as well so if you want to add things in december 27th you can add that you can get your board views as well so let's say we have the kanban board view now obviously i have said that this is completed but let's say it's in progress okay now if you go to calendar and you come down here look at that it's going to tell you that you have a task pending so that is how you can create a social media content calendar in ClickUp. And I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, please do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.